Big changes are coming, but the price tags? They might not be as scary as we thought. In fact, the next-gen Snapdragon and Dimensity chips could be cheaper than expected. And that means flagship phones this year might stay affordable. But wait, there's a twist. RAM prices are about to go up. So what's really happening behind the scenes with Qualcomm, MediaTek, and memory giants like Samsung and SK Hynix? Let's break it all down in simple terms, and trust me, you're going to want to stick around, because this might just be the most surprising pricing shift we've seen in years. So here's what we know. Qualcomm's upcoming Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 and MediaTek's Dimensity 9500 are both being built on TSMC's 3 nanometer process, the most advanced mobile chip technology right now. But not just any 3NM. They're likely using N3P, a slightly upgraded version of the earlier N3E node. And that's important, because N3P brings better performance and better efficiency without drastically increasing production costs. Now usually, when we get a big jump in chip tech like this, the prices go up. And that means flagship phone prices go way up too. But this time, that might not happen. A well-known tipster on Weibo, Digital State Chat Station, just dropped an interesting rumor. They say the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 and Dimensity 9500 won't be overly expensive. That's right, we might get top-tier performance without top-tier pricing. Some smartphone makers in China are planning to keep their new flagships in the $3999 to $4499 RMB range. That's about 560 to 630 US dollars. Just to give you perspective, the Xiaomi 15 with the Snapdragon 8 Elite chip also launched at 4499 RMB. So if this trend holds, we're looking at the same high-end price point despite better tech under the hood. Now, that might not sound dramatic at first, but trust me, it's a big deal. Why? Because chip prices usually determine everything about your phone's final price. If chip costs stay under control, smartphone companies get more wiggle room. They can either keep prices the same or improve profit margins without making customers pay more. And let's be honest, in today's economy, that's refreshing. But here's the twist in the story. While chip prices may stay low, there's another component that might push phone prices up. RAM specifically LPDDR5X RAM. According to that same tipster, RAM prices are expected to rise by about 5%. Now, that might not sound like a lot, but it actually is. RAM is one of the most expensive parts in a flagship smartphone, right after the processor and display. If RAM costs go up, manufacturers might have no choice but to increase prices, even if chip prices stay flat. So, why the RAM hike? Well, it comes down to supply and demand. As more phones adopt LPDDR5X, the demand increases. And when demand rises faster than supply, prices climb. It's that simple. But there's hope. If companies like Samsung and SK Hynix ramp up RAM production quickly enough, they could flood the market with more units, and that might actually balance out the prices again. Now, here's something exciting to look forward to. LPDDR6 is coming. Samsung is reportedly accelerating development of the next generation of mobile RAM, which could launch in 2026. It'll be faster, more efficient, and possibly cheaper over time, just like LPDDR5X was when it first arrived. So while there may be short-term price bumps, the long-term outlook for mobile memory? Very promising. So what does all this mean for you? If you're planning to upgrade your phone later this year, especially to a flagship, you might actually get more power for the same price as last year. We're talking Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 and Dimensity 9500 levels of power without paying through the nose. Of course, if RAM costs do creep up, prices might rise slightly, but nothing extreme or unexpected. That's a huge win for anyone who's been holding off, waiting for the right time to upgrade. Now. Remember, these are all leaks and rumors, so take them with a pinch of salt. But if what we're hearing is true, 2025 might be the year where flagship phones stay powerful and affordable. And in a market that's always chasing the next big thing, that's the kind of news we love to hear. So what do you think? 
Will RAM prices ruin the party, or can Qualcomm and MediaTek pull off the unthinkable? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next update on this evolving tech war. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay sharp, stay curious, and stay tech transformed.